Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 125 of my modded Factorio playthrough. Okay, as far as balancers, we need our 3 to 6. Which I believe is this one right here. And let's place a train in here. Let's hook it up and consume even more power. So let's check this out. Should be identical, so there sh shouldn't be any issues. Seems to be running smoothly. Okay, this one still had the, the same problem with these random inserters here. Let's clean that up. But, looks good. Power use? Yeah. <laughs> well, the uh, accumulators aren't doing anything anymore. So, that's good. We're charging them back up. That is the advantage of the accumulator setup in general, is that it lets you kind of consume huge amounts of power for short periods of time. As long as the average is less than what you can handle, then it'll work out in the end. And sorting copper. It's coming together. <laughs> Power use is insane. Okay. Now our bus doesn't go down this far, but hopefully we can still kind of place things in the right spots but we need crotinium and rubite. So, just noticing patterns. It is gonna be a little annoying to place. Actually, we might run out of belts just moving these down here. Okay, hopefully all that's in the right spot. It's kinda of hard to tell. Yep, crotinium, rubite. Doubly, triply, make sure. Yep. Okay. Where's our balancer? It's the long skinny one. So at least we don't have to pick stuff up. We can just kind of place it down. See how this thing uh, does work properly when you have three full belts er, going in and three full belts coming out. It's not like clogged or anything. It just balances them the best it can, which is what we would expect, really. It's not a priority splitter. Those get even more complicated. And again, the modern version of Factorio handles that better. So, but it's not necessary that each thing that that let's say iron is more important than other things, even though that it is. I am fine with just knowing that eventually the factory will catch up if it's behind, so I'd rather it just be balanced rather than priority prioritized, I guess. And actually, that's the only one we need to place for this side. Power? Okay, we caught up. And actually, power use is dramatically lower, I guess, because the mining stopped. Just so they don't cross over, let's do that one. One tall, and this one. Oh, it's actually not three to six, it's uh, two to six. Which I think is super simple, if I recall. No, apparently not. Well, it's simpler. Not what you would call super simple. Mm 
boom, explosion of stuff. And uh, these are black. So that's easy enough. And we can call this sorting lead. Looking good. Solid belts going in. Mostly. Yeah. Okay, it was hiccuping there for a second, but solid belts going in, solid belts going out. I would like to check on that Jivalite station again. Train should be back. We might be able to balance this manually. Although it's not quite at the point of balance. We might have to wait until everything is stopped and there's no more motion. This would eventually balance itself if we completely ran out of Jivalite and then started from scratch. Then it would be balanced again. So I suppose it would self-balance itself eventually, but we went through all the effort of having it be balanced, so why not fix it? So lesson learned about picking stuff up directly from the tree. All right, we've just got this last one here. Bobmonium and Steerotite. Hopefully all this works out where it's in the right spot. It wasn't a mistake to try to fix this without returning, so it's gonna be lined up here. And down right there. Okay, so we did that one too far. Hmm. Well, you know I keep doing it, but it doesn't actually need it anymore. Now, this might be a deciding factor of always use undergrounds or only use undergrounds when they're needed. I'm kind of thinking only use them when they're needed. It's more consistent that way. So that means there's a couple situations here where we can get rid of them. Doing it this way would make it easier to place them when we haven't quite placed all of the guide markers yet. Okay, and then the last one is the Steerotite. So, boom, Steerotite. Right there. Okay, I hope that's lined up right. I guess we'll fix it later. If it's not, it'll be pretty obvious. But now we can place all these belts. Do we have enough? Probably. Since it's early in the morning, how are we doing on power? Hmm. Pretty low. Actually, I mean, we might run out here. Guess we'll find out in a bit. If we run out just during this testing phase, and I probably will want to upgrade our solar capacity here. Hmm, it's hard to tell. We might be okay for this. I believe it's this one, the Bobmonium. The only thing we need the Bobmonium for. I am nervous and want to check power again. That looks like we caught up. I guess whatever the mining stopped again. And here we are charging the accumulator, so that got close. But then again, we are just hooking up all these machines and suddenly consuming all this power to load several trains worth of cargo, so... But something to keep in mind that we may need to uh, update there. Okay, so we need our two to six. We short on something? One splitter. Um, actually, again, because we're going the other direction, it might make more sense to... Do them from the top, just for consistent belt placement, make it easier. It should be the same as above, but just look at it, it looks to be the same. 
will not just get some bridge rails, but also probably get the, the train itself cause to be able to reach out this far. But that'll be easy enough to fix. This train doesn't actually have anywhere to go. It's not really an issue in that sense. Let's get some more fuel. We only need half of it. Or half a stack, anyway. And let's make this a uh, green color. Something like that. And we'll call this sorting tin. Is that the Daniel Jack one? <laughs> I was like, wait, what's there a Daniel Jack station? Okay, so they're all named like they should be. So, that's loading and doing its thing. Consuming a ton of power, but it's actually the accumulators this time. I don't think we have anywhere near enough yellow belts to connect all those, uh, the fuel belts up here. Because it has to go even farther than that, so we'll need to remember fuel belts for the next trip. And just uh, rails and everything, really. Oh, wow. Look how close we were. We only have 36 belts left. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's how close we were to running out. We're here, so we might as well use any resources. Oh, wait. There, never mind. There's more. <laughs> uh, wait. What do we have so many ore sorters for? What did I calculate wrong? Make sure I did it right. Oh, I bet I know. I think I calculated twice as many. Or something along those lines. Let's see if we have twice as many, because I think I was thinking of... I multiplied this by 10, but we only needed to multiply it by 5. So, we have some extra machines for now. So do we have a bunch of extra stuff here? Besides just machines? Yeah, some inserters and just these belts. Because we haven't used too many of them, so... But that's actually not a problem because uh, we're just going to get to the next stage requiring uh, silicon, nickel, aluminum, zinc. So we're still going to use those just later on. But oops, built too many. And might as well extend these down since we're here and we have the belts. So you see we went uh, real far on the left building a bunch of stuff and now we have a lot of space on the right and that's gonna be okay because we are going to need a huge amount of it for the next stage of refining resources which is washing actually now that I think about it there's probably no point in extending these down past that point because they're going to get washed yeah, they're like, it's gonna, the washing's going to occur pretty much right here, so I really shouldn't have done that. At least not without splitting that off here. And actually, the position that washing needs to occur also kind of matters because of the positioning of when we're using these resources here, so that's going to be another consideration as well. See, I'll bring these down to the same spot and cut it off like the other one. I don't think we have anything else really to set up, just besides those little details. No, 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 no. So similar to the other side, I'll leave the gap there. Oop, there we go. And that's all of that. So we almost had enough for what we needed, but it's looking good. Ooh, we're filled up on copper. That's good to see. It was expected, but everything's moving along. So the next step from here is we need to do our next tier of resource refining using the flotation cells. Those are going to be complicated. <laughs> Very complicated. And that's going to have to wait till the next episode. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.